So like the person you're dating, know. you you see like a future with them. I think the question you were asking me is if I wanted more kids, and I feel like I want more kids. OMG! Did you see how Drea Michelle stuttered when she was asked if she wanted a future with the person she was dating? This interview was posted five months ago, and Drea and Jalen Green were first rumored to be dating last year in August, when they were spotted out at a day party, and then again near a sugar fish sushi spot in LA. So does this mean that she doesn't see a future with Jalen, and only got together with him to secure the bag by trapping him with a baby? Well, at least that is what most people have been speculating. I'm he, in a few a years, he'll be making 300 million. Okay, so he'll, he's gonna max out. He's gonna be one of the max guys. Okay. Also, when she said that she only wanted one more child, does that mean that Drea has been plotting her next paycheck for years? Cause she's had a few men before Jalen, so why choose to have her last baby with him? And who the heck keeps leaking all these Jalen videos that are not making the situation any better? Okay, I'm sure you saw Drea's grand announcement about expecting her little girl on International Women's Day. Yeah, I know, it's wild that she was even announcing it on International Women's Day, but here's what she said. Happy International Women's Day. As women, we navigate through so much, often leading us to question, what is my purpose? For me, the magic lies in motherhood and the awe-inspiring ability to bring life into this world over the span of two decades. It's my superpower. Drea then revealed that she is having a baby girl adding, and if anything can surpass the wonder of being a woman, it's the privilege of bringing another woman into existence. We are overjoyed to share our love for you, little girl. I'm excited to speak words to the daughter I never thought I'd have. In addition, Drea also revealed that she is seven months pregnant and her baby will be arriving in May 2024. And to a lot of people, it's given secure in the bag for the next 18 years. But what sure. makes it come back? Just lifestyle in general. Okay. Well, now Drea is just playing in everyone's faces by posting all these videos about how she is expecting a child. She also reposted a very cryptic post that was like, get comfortable being misunderstood. Only a fraction of people will be able to truly grasp your essence. You are not on anyone else's timeline of comprehension. Also, it's none of your business how others choose to perceive you. Most High sees you clearly. Let that be enough. Baby, she probably knew that people would be pulling her apart on social media, so Drea blocked her comments. However, that hasn't stopped people from dragging her through the mud for getting knocked up by a man literally her son's age. Drea's son, Nico Howard, was conceived sometime in 2002 when Drea was 17, and he is the oldest of the two kids she has given birth to. Since he was born in 2002, that will put him between the age of 21 and 22. Jalen was also born in 2002, meaning their birthdays are just months apart. Now tell me how Nico is supposed to address Jalen as his mother's boyfriend. Let alone that, how will the child they are having even come to understand that her brother and her father are literally the same age? Somebody make it make sense. Yeah, Drea is pretty much acting unbothered, but I can bet that all the comments about her relationship with Jalen are getting to her, especially the ones claiming that she definitely trapped Jalen with that pregnancy. We're not talking about his choices as a 21 year old whose brain is not fully developed. <laughs> We're talking about Drea in her 40s having a baby by the young man whose brain is not developed. Do you have a unique take on this or do you just want to meander? Because if that's the case, then I'll act like a woman and start talking. <laughs> I mean, she was already making headlines for dating Jalen and getting pregnant by him is just another story. And baby, trust online investigators to come with a list of all the reasons why Drea should not be having a baby with a baby. Apparently, she can barely properly take care of the one she already has and having one with somebody who just got legal is just insane. Well, when it comes to that, fans first pointed out that Drea was previously arrested for child endangerment. This happened when Drea's son Nico was a little younger and Drea was out there doing what she was known for doing, which is allegedly being either a groupie or chasing ball players. I mean, we all know I have a type. Now, a local paper spilled the tea on what was happening, revealing that Nico went home from school every day to an empty spot while his mom Drea was hustling. Word was, he spilled to the cops about his routine, which basically involved waiting by the gated parking garage, watching folks come and go just to catch someone who would let him into the building. Drea apparently kept the house unlocked and stocked up on microwave dinners for him. Apparently one day he called 911. I'm not sure what had happened, but when the police pulled up, they took Nico and charged Drea with putting Nico's welfare at risk. 
In the report, it said that when they got to the house, it looked like chaos in there. Drea's under things scattered around the living room, a little pup locked up, and dog business all over the place. Still on parenting, people also pointed out how Drea once made a whole deal on social media by refusing to sign her son's homework because of something very petty. Here's the lowdown. Drea claimed Nico needed her signature for a school assignment, saying it involved practice on a speech. Because her son had been doing that same speech like twice a day for a whole month, she straight up said she was sick of it and wasn't going to sign off on the homework. Petty much? Also, I can't verify this, but I have read several threads saying that Drea barely takes care of her younger son. So the issue is that she has never raised kids and she's been pretty much neglectful towards her children. And this has only made people conclude that having another child isn't a big deal to her because she probably won't raise this one as well. Drea herself also mentioned in an interview that she is non-traditional and that being in a relationship isn't necessary for her. So according to some people, this baby is basically a money grab. Other than the parenting, people were also keen to the point about how Drea has made some pretty obnoxious comments about very sensitive things. Child, we are talking about the same person who back in 2020 dropped some real insensitive comments on the whole Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane situation. She straight up suggested that getting pow powed by your boo was some romantic thing and that's just wild to say. I predict. I'll take it. <laughs> I predict that they had some sort of Bobby and Whitney love that, you know, drove them down this snapped-esque mm. type of road. And mm. I'm here for it. I like that. I want you to like me so much you shoot in the foot too. Like, But as long as... <laughs> what the whoa? Y'all, even Megan was tripping over those comments and she went all out on Drea for her stance and Drea had to drop a Twitter apology. But even that couldn't shield her from the backlash Drea was getting after that and the biggest hit came when she got booted from her gig as a Fenty ambassador. And that's not even the most questionable thing she has said or done that has made people just give her that bombastic side eye. We really can't go over everything Drea has said and done that is making people say that she should stay away from Jalen. But what I can promise you is that she has said a lot. Older white men in Hollywood are kind of hot. Okay. Honey, there's also the fact that she's having a baby with someone who has also displayed a bit of immaturity for his part. Like back in early 2023, there was this viral video making the rounds that captured Jalen getting real freaky with his ex-teammate, Josh Christopher. And y'all, it was crazy. The clip was short but intense, with Josh down, leg spray, and Jalen right in the mix, going all out for a hot minute, thrusting on Christopher real hard. And then there was another similar video, which also made rounds. Personally, I don't even see that much of a problem with Jalen portraying a bit of immaturity because he is not mature yet. He's just doing what someone around his age would do and probably regret later. But what he should not be doing is getting a woman pushing 40 pregnant. Also, have y'all seen what the streets have been saying about Jalen being on the DL and that Drea is just a beard? The streets are also saying that Drea's son is gay and her baby daddy is on the DL and they are the same age. Y'all better get popcorn because this situation could end up in a real hot mess. Allegedly, Jalen is not saying much publicly because he knows how he rose. But sources close to him are saying that he is really bothered about what people are saying about the situation. Apparently, he's beginning to see Drea may have just trapped him for 18 years and it's bothering him. Um, it might be a little too late for that and I know you've also got a lot to say. So why don't you go on and drop those thoughts in the comment section below?